Hello and welcome back. This is video number two. And in this specific video, we're going to show you a bird's eye view of how Facebook retargeting works. So you may have a general idea of how Facebook retargeting works, but my goal here is to kind of give you a visual mind map of how all the pieces connect together. Because if I jump in and start showing you to do this, to do that, and I don't explain what things are and why things are important, I know that you will get confused and I don't want to overwhelm you. So that's the goal here. So let's dive in. Obviously this is going to be the visitor and the visitor comes to a website, a landing page, whatever page that you want. Let's say that it is a blog post and it could be a specific blog post. It doesn't matter. So they visit this blog post and on the blog post, in order for us to know that they visited the blog post, there's going to need to be a piece of code. And that piece of code is called a Facebook pixel. Now I'm not going to talk about that right now, but all you need to know is that the Facebook pixel tracks them. I'm going to talk briefly about the Facebook pixel later on because it can get kind of technical. So all you need to know right now is a piece of code that tracks them and lets us know that they have visited this particular blog post. Now, bear in mind that if you want to learn how to set things up with different scenarios, what do you do with an opted page? Or what do you do when you're trying to get somebody to fill out a form? Or what do you do when you're trying to sell a product? Well, I'm gonna talk about different real life examples in the next video. All right, so just keep that in mind. Let's just talk about the basics. Okay, so from this point, let's say it's a blog post and maybe in this situation, what we want to do is whenever somebody visits this particular blog post, we want to create an audience specifically for this. All right, so whenever somebody visits here, they are going to have the Facebook pixel there and then this visitor essentially will be added on this part to a custom audience. All right. And don't worry, we're going to explain all of this later on. Now this custom audience is going to allow us to say, okay, anybody who visits this page is now added to this audience here. Now, why do you need an audience? Well, you need an audience because when it comes to trying to put ads up. So let's put this up. Let's do a Facebook ad. We have to find a way to show this ad to this audience. So obviously from the custom audience here and the Facebook ad here, directionally, we are going to show the Facebook ad to anyone who visited this blog post. So this is a very, very basic Facebook retargeting. So let me repeat this. Let's do a recap. A visitor comes to the blog post and this piece of code is just happens to be on this blog post, which will allow us to know, okay, this person visited it and they're segmented into this audience. And therefore we then show them Facebook ads on Facebook to this custom audience. So that is a very, very basic scenario. Now it can get a little bit more tedious if you add more things like email opt-ins or everything else like that. But I just want to start with the basics. We'll talk about more about real life examples in the next video. Now, what you will need to learn is the Facebook pixel, how to use it, how to set up different things like triggers, different ways to work with variables. And the Facebook pixel is just more than a piece of code. It's, it can track when somebody visits a page. It can track when somebody buys a product. It can track when somebody opts in. So in other words, if you want to know if a conversion happened, then you will need the Facebook pixel again. So the Facebook pixel is essentially a piece of code that is on your whole website and based upon 
where they land, where they convert, it is all recorded. So we'll talk more about that later on, but let's move on to the next video. And I'm gonna give you some real live examples and real life scenarios. We're gonna show you different mind maps for different scenarios so that you have an idea of kind of how things work.